All right, guys, so this trick is actually going to be a little bit more difficult than most of the tricks that I've been showing you. So anyways, just giving you a fair warning, uh, this is what it's going to look like. So let's say you could go through and you could have the spectator just call out any card they want to face up. So in this case, maybe the Queen of Spades, for example. Uh, you could have them sign the card if you want, okay, just to make sure that this is the only Queen of Spades in the deck. Uh, but basically what you want to do is emphasize that they could have stopped you at any card. So they could have stopped you maybe at the Nine of Clubs, maybe at the Queen of Clubs. Basically any card in the deck they could have stopped you at. Uh, so look what happens. When I snap my fingers, your card doesn't actually jump to the top of the deck. and It's not on the bottom, but look, if I give you this card here and you put it inside of your hand, close it and open it back up, you can see your card has now instantly transported into your hand. So uh, this is a trick guys and if you want to know how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright guys, so here's how the trick is actually going to work. So uh, basically the main thing that I'm doing here is just culling a card from the middle of the deck. So basically that's when you take a card uh, from the middle and you can move it to the top of the deck uh, within a second. So that was kind of sloppy, I wasn't really trying there. But basically that is kind of the exposed view of what's going on. So I'm going to go into more detail. So what you're doing is you're having the spectator go through and they can pick any card that they want. Let's say the ace of diamonds here. Now basically what you're doing is you're showing them the card and if you want, I said, uh, like I said before, you could have them sign the card just to make it look like there's no actual duplicate card. So this would help out in the situation. Um, but at this point, what you'd want to do is take the card back, put it and have the deck spread open. Um, this way what you want to do is you want to emphasize to the spectators that they could have picked um, any card in the deck and at that point what you're doing is you're saying look you could have picked the Queen of Hearts and what I just did there is when I said Queen of Hearts I just covered up their card and left it flush with this Queen of Hearts so your card is perfectly behind that Queen and what you're doing is you're moving it behind the Queen like this and saying look you could have picked the Queen of Hearts and as you can see what I'm doing here from the back is I'm pulling your card with my middle in my ring you're pulling it out just so it can unclip from these back cards just like this so it's unclipped and what you're doing is saying look you'd have, you could have picked any one of these cards and you're just fanning it into your left hand just like this and when you close the deck up and I'll leave this on top so you can see you're closing the deck up leaving that ace on top of the deck like this so once more time guys you guys can a lot of you guys can exit the video now but for those of you who want to see it again basically you're taking a card in this case the ace of spades and you're saying look you wanted to pick the ace you can go ahead and sign it um, you could have picked any card in this case so let's say you wanted to pick you could have picked the five of diamonds if you wanted to you emphasize the five of diamonds you push the ace flush with the five covering it up and from the back you're pulling this card out with your middle and your ring you're pushing it on top of the deck. So when you first start out, don't spread the cards. Just go ahead and close the deck back up, leaving their card on top of the deck. So the end, what I did was, it was very simple. Um, their card is on top, and basically, I just did a double lift, and I'll leave the link on the screen. Uh, but really, guys, you should already know how to do the double lift at this point if you're trying to attempt this card trick. So basically, you do the double lift, concealing their card, and whatever you want to do, you can give it to them, flip it over, and this is the trick. So I hope you guys like it, and as always, thanks for watching.